The crowds came early to stake out the choice seats. For many, it was a first-time chance to get a taste of a unique Miami celebration, like Yerki Alrus of Finland. I don't know what is this celebration. I, I really don't know what is it, but I think it's something like Christmas in, in Europe. Or Mike Sanchez on vacation from Connecticut. I'm, I'm Cuban. I, I wanted to see what it was all about, you know, since I've never seen it. But before a drop had fallen, a vendor gave a hint of things to come. Rainkos. Smart man, just as the parade started, so did the rain. Majorettes tried to let a smile be their umbrella, and the Orange Bowl queen and her court were thankful for waterproof mascara. Dignitaries riding on convertibles felt less than dignified. You have to have a sense of humor then about being out here today. Obviously you do. Obviously I do. I have to have one. <laughs> In this aquatic environment, doll fans felt right at home, and for many, this was just a warm-up for the big game. It's going to be a big victory on to New Orleans. We're going to take that in the mud if we have to. Even my dolphin, my daughter knows how to go Dolphins number one. She goes, touchdown. We got it already trained. So the fans watched from the sidelines as parade participants endured over 20 soggy blocks, and everyone hoped that the Dolphins would make an even bigger splash later on. Catherine Couric, News 4.